Uh, obviously, you guys might have seen on my Instagram or on Beck's Instagram, um, spread like news or whatever. But pretty much, uh, I had a really bad accident in the RV. Um, the there's no parking brake, um, and the brakes are kind of shoddy. And I was going a very steep hill, lost power in the RV, and couldn't turn the engine over, and basically started rolling down the hill. Uh, I was like, basically like racing down the hill backwards. Uh, one of the scariest. I was there. You weren't. <laughs> Oh, can you let everyone know that? Yeah, I, I was the only one in the RV. Um, Beck, her child, and Nala were not in the RV. I was in there solo. No, I wasn't Liddy. I don't drive drunk. No, oh, you're a liar! We make jokes about that. That wasn't driving drunk. There's no... Uh, it wasn't Beck on pills. It wasn't any of that bullshit. I was completely sober, completely alert. It was a fucked up situation. I was going up a very steep hill and lost power to the RV and it started rolling backwards and I was like standing on the brakes, like standing on nothing. So as I was rolling back, I was praying that there was no one behind me and luckily no one was behind me. I did see some cars when first I started stalling out. I did see some cars and they kind of went past me. Um, but I rolled back and I basically just tried to roll back into the side of the road. And when I did that, I uprooted a electric pole, a light pole. So, um, neighbors of where I did that, I came out, uh, the police were there quick. Uh, I was able to get out of the RV and then there was a whole lot of standing around for hours while Puget Sound Energy came out and handled it. And, uh, one of the scariest moments of my life, um, the RV is pretty fucked up, pretty fucked up. It wasn't in perfect condition before this, but it's pretty fucked up. Um, the bumper, like, instead of being flat like this, it's like this. Um, and so uh, I had to have it towed, and we got a hotel. And uh, insurance uh, paid for the tow. Uh, I got full coverage insurance, so we'll deal with that as it comes along, but the RV's pretty fucked up, and to be honest with you, I, I'm i kind of tired of the RV lifestyle. It's a fucking, besides this accident, um, it's definitely a fucking money pit. Um, I've been talking with Beck, nothing's finalized, but, you know, if... If this totals it out, then I probably want to get like a house or something. I mean, I I got more of a ship like when I saw the inside of the RV because I didn't realize how bad the impact was. It was bad. We must have been going like at least forty or fifty backwards. Yeah. Did they tell you? I wasn't clocked. I'm sure they could. Yeah, everything flew out of the shelves and everything was all fucked up. The, ta the table, uh, the table that was um, not the table I sit at when I do my streams, but the table over there. Dude, stuff from the front, like my charges from the front of the thing were all the way in the back. Um, $3. How is it destroyed? It looks as messy as it always did. What happened? I missed it. I didn't knock out power for 1,300 people, man. I really didn't. That that would be fucking horrible. I mean, 
okay, if I had to choose between that and injuring someone, I'd rather take the power out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm glad that the only outcome of it was that I hit a light pole and didn't hit a house or didn't hit like another car or hit someone. You know what I mean? Yay! I'm happy about that. Ram Ranch donated three dollars. Mondo cut the brake lines. We all know it. All right, so I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of Mondo, but I don't like the slander of like he started the fire and all this other bullshit, or he cut the brake lines. I mean, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge fan of him. Don't get me wrong, but I'm also not gonna like slander him for that kind of shit, dude. Like. He didn't, he didn't do all that, like, start the fire bullshit or whatever. No, oh, you're a liar! Anonymous donated $3. How many elderly with the electric heaters do you think were left shivering while you figured it out? Okay, I don't have a number for you. Uh, it's definitely yeah, less... It was actually in the 50s and it was during the day. So they're probably okay. It was 50 degrees wow. outside. Tyrone donated $3. Blade, tell the truth. You walked in on me blowing Vex back out and in a fit of rage you trashed the RV and put it in reverse. Once we made impact with the telephone pole Vex. Why was I driving the RV? Because we were moving to a different RV spot. Sorry. Uh, we are able to stay long term in one spot, but then we have to get a different spot every once in a while. So we were driving to a different spot. And that happened. So whoopsie doodles. Ooh. Let's see here. My turn to lie. What do you mean? All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Yes, Nala is just fine. Nala's in the room next door. Um, yeah, I was like five miles away from him when it happened. Um, he literally called me. I was checking out at a store. He called me and said, he, he sounded calm, but I think he was in shock. And he just said, um, I need you to come to my location right now. I was like, okay. And he's like, um, yeah, something bad happened. I, I crashed into something, something bad. And at that point he didn't know what he crashed into still. So he like crashed and then I probably took a second, called me, told me to like, just come to his location. He didn't get out of the RV yet so he had no idea what was behind him and what he had hit so basically that was it so I'm driving over to him not knowing what what I'm like gonna find or what happened and then going inside because I had to go inside the way that it crashed the RV door was up against like bushes so he had to I don't know how honestly I don't know how he got out because the RV door would only open like this much. I mean, it was hard for me to get through. Um, so I asked him too, I was like, how did you get out of here? He's like, just squished my tummy in. So I had to go back in to get like some of our stuff, like the streamer phone, um, charger, like just essentials we would need for the night. So I went in there and honestly, like that's, that's when it hit me. Um, like how bad the impact was because from the outside it looked bad but it also looked like it kind of just rolled back and like split the pole but seeing the inside and like how things were just from the front to the back all my dishes all the glasses all the cupboards were open everything was broken on the ground I was trying to walk through there and I was like literally climbing over things um, it's, it looks like a tornado no. did. Mondo hit it first, donated $3. <laughs> Couldn't you have just ripped off the door with those big asshole cans? No, but like, we honestly, like, I almost lost him yesterday. Had it, had he not been going backwards and had a seatbelt on, like, anybody in there that, if, if anyone had been in there without a seatbelt on, they would have been really, really either messed up or dead. I'm not acting like I'm traumatized. I just don't want to lose him. I'm sorry. Am I not allowed to say that? Does that hurt your feelings? Does that hurt your feelings? Bex no. dead hubby donated three dollars. Hey babe, it's me from heaven. Where yeah, the brakes do usually still work. He should have been able to, but the brakes failed. 
the emergency brake already didn't work on it. And the, I guess, I don't know if it had to do with the weight and the brakes were not like great, like they needed to be replaced, but they still worked. But it, you know, he's on a steep hill, it was raining and he just could not get it to stop. But it's, it's a mess, it really is. Like he kind of downplayed it, but the back window's broken. Um, so, and it's raining heavily since yesterday, so it's probably soaked and water damaged inside there because the window's like just gone. Um, the inside, the inside has a lot of damage. Donated three dollars. There's obviously been a plan in motion to get Mama Blade's house. This is all just a paper trail to further your argument for taking her house. Okay. You don't even need an education to figure that out. You didn't need to kill 1,300 people for that. Jeez. Shout out to the Belgian Police Department. They were cool as fuck. Um, it sucked though because they pretty much were saying that it was like we were there for a long time. Anonymous donated $3. I hope they send you a huge fucking bill for that pull you hit. Taxpayers should not have to pay for your stupidity. Do you ruin Christmas? I have full coverage in charge. Coffeezilla donated three dollars. Free Bjorn, the Danish king. Give us a ska in. Ska! Free Bjorn! I got the shirt on. <laughs> oh. No, I got full insurance that I pay for, so thank God. Uh how about this? When I find out oh. what the actual cost of everything is, I'll let you guys know. Yeah, how fast do you think you're going? Honestly, I probably know. 40. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess 40. That's, that's, that's the honest got truth. I think, honestly, I 40. Mean, it was like, fast. Yeah, as you picked up speed. Oh, my God. I kept picking up speed. Dude, I'm not going to lie, dude. That was one of the scariest moments in my life, dude. I'm serious. It really was. It was like... To, okay, imagine being on a roller coaster, and I don't like roller coasters, but you know the roller coasters that go backwards on a fucking rainy day with fogged up windows and you can't see what the fuck's behind you, dude? And you see cars fucking spin out, go past the dude, and you fucking run back? I don't know what I'm saying, dude, so much, but dude, that's... It's the Kraken. It's not the Kraken. It's, I'm very emotional right now. And that shit sucked. I'm sorry. That shit was scary, dude. I talked to Blade anytime recently. Like, what part of my personality makes me think I want to talk to a racist bitch? Come on now. Let's be real bitch. here. Yeah, that's valid. Like, I talked to Blade guys. anytime recently. Like, <laughs> what part of my personality <laughs> makes me think I want to talk to a racist bitch? Come on now. Is this a repeat for 30 seconds? Let's <laughs> be, be real here. So basically, he said, I'd fuck wings up. Person. You can tell him that. Like, I'd fuck him up, dude. I fuck wings up more than diabetes does. But whatever. Does I'm, he have diabetes? I'm sure he does. <laughs> you guys do have a lot in common. That's funny. That's fucking funny.